Heavy water reactors, or HWRs, like the CANDU, use heavy water, deuterium-2 oxygen, as the neutron moderator. The neutron moderator is the part of the core that slows down neutrons to thermal energies via neutron scattering reactions. They also often may use heavy water as the reactor coolant. The justification for using heavy water rather than light water is to minimize the neutron absorption in the moderator. Meanwhile, deuterium remains very effective at scattering and thus slowing down neutrons, though it's still not as effective as hydrogen-1. In this table, we can see that hydrogen-1's elastic scattering cross-section is about 20 barns, while deuterium or hydrogen-2's cross-section for scattering is somewhat less, at 3 barns. However, the absorption gamma cross-section for hydrogen-1 is about 0.3 barns, while hydrogen-2's absorption cross-section is much, much less, at 0 0.0005 barns. Note that the density of heavy water is slightly higher than light water at about 1.11 grams per centimeter cubed. This implies that the reaction rates will be slightly higher for heavy water, simply based on the density. However, even this increased density of about 11% is not enough to overcome the orders of magnitude difference in the absorption cross-sections. The fact that this absorption cross-section in the moderator is so much lower for heavy water is what allows some heavy water to reactors to run on natural uranium. CANDU reactors have a horizontal core design called a calandria, as seen here. CANDU fuel bundles are cylinders rather than cuboids, as seen here. A fuel bundle is around 50 centimeters long and weighs approximately 24 kilograms. CANDUs also have the following steam generation schematic, where there are multiple steam generation loops attached to their own generators and turbines. This design allows for online refueling. As with light water reactors, the fuel is zirconium-clad uranium dioxide. Unlike LWRs, the fuel is traditionally natural uranium. However, with relatively minor retrofits, heavy water reactors can also use low enriched uranium and light water as the coolant, while still being moderated by heavy water. In this case, the fuel is enriched to between 1 and 1.5% U-235.